Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekend love readings from the 10th to the 12th of January. Firstly, let me just say thank you to all of the people who have sent messages, love, prayers, checked in, and of course those people who have uh, so generously donated to the Australian Bushfire Appeal. If you are still looking to donate, uh, there are two links on my community page on the last post that I made on that page. The first link is for locals in Australia. International donations can't be made through that link. So there is a second link which provides an organisation where it uh, international donations can be made so again thank you so much it's been overwhelming all of the support we've received here in Australia hopefully this craziness ends soon so we all are hoping praying um, and waiting mostly so okay let's get started with your love messages don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel leave a comment down in the comment section below also these are general love readings so they're not going to resonate with everyone that's okay just hit the notification button and head on over to another tarot reader here on youtube you will come in and out of resonation with different tarot readers it happens all the time it's quite normal all right let's go scorpio love messages please to the 12th of January. January. Oh, Scorpio, what's all happening? Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Strength card in reverse, King of Cups in reverse. Mm. I'll take one more, please. <laughs> I feel like you're on the edge of making an offer to someone that you know is emotionally unavailable. Now that might not be an offer of relationship. You would certainly like that as a stable offer here with the page of pentacles. You know that it's going to leave you vulnerable because you know that this person is king of cups reverse they're probably uh they could be emotionally unavailable they could be a little bit commitment phobic so but you're holding on because you still no matter what see them as this could be the one nine of cups this could be my dream come true this could be my wish fulfillment so I think you, you're kind of wearing your heart on your sleeve over here, even though you know you might get hurt with that strength card in reverse. Let's get some more information though. And keep in mind, these energies can sometimes be reversed. So this is a bit of a Scorpio trade. I don't want to generalize. But sometimes Scorpio can get a little bit, eh, you're moving too close to me too quickly. So if this is you and you're kind of wanting to put the brakes on someone who is being... Uh, putting their their heart on their sleeve this is why because they see you as maybe the one so take it and how it resonates and apply it appropriately let's do let's do king of cups in reverse let's see what's going on here king of cups in reverse this will give us a bit more of a sense of where the energies are more likely to sit okay that wanted to come out okay so you could be dealing, you could be dealing with a, uh, a fellow water sign, or you could be dealing with a Virgo, you could be dealing with any sign really, you've got Leo. Um, but this person is a bit of a slow mover. They like to be very sure about what they're getting themselves into. They may have been hurt in the past and that causes them to be very cautious sensibly cautious not um rec not reclusive isolating cautious so it might not be that they are emotionally unavailable but they may need more time than usual to be sure that they want to return the cup to you if you're offering a cup 
over here. So they're a very, I like to think things through very thoroughly, but it's because of the lessons that they've learnt in the past. You know, it's kind of it comes from a from a place of wisdom and intelligence. Let's see, nine of cups, please. Yeah, see, so you're over here. You're like, I want to give them the world. I want to be king of pentacles. I want to give them everything I own, everything I have, all the love I have, all the possessions I have. I want them to have it all. I just want to share everything with them. This is long-term commitment as well. Like this is, you really do see them as someone that you could spend the rest of your life with. Um, and that's kind of why you're going all out here. You're taking the risk. It's, it's opening you up, but you're like, I don't care. I'm, I'm going for this. I'm taking the risk. I'm vulnerable. I know that I could get hurt here, but I'm going to offer my pentacle anyway. Go you, I say. Okay, let's see. Most likely outcome for this weekend, please, for Scorpio. Most likely outcome for this weekend for Scorpio. Oops. Okay. Devil in reverse. That's good because it's not in the upright. No offense to any Capricorns that might be watching. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So if this is someone that you've already gone through a few cycles with, there could be a, a shift in what's happened in the past. Good news because it looks like some of this negative, toxic, repeat, negative behavior repeat negative patterns is being released here with um the devil in reverse and then you've got the three of pentacles here which is you know putting the hard work in working together working as a team so it looks like that that you are at least stepping closer to being unified and yeah like being on the same team is the best way I can describe that. I always call this my teammate card. And it's it's important in a relationship to be teammates. You want to be teammates. You're on the same team. Um, Nine of Pentacles. There is still an element of um, like almost fiercely independent here. Being almost too independent. Um which could be, that could be pushing against this. So it's like two steps forward, three steps back kind of thing I'm getting here. It's like you've got all this great transformational stuff that's happening here, but oh, that's right. I remember I've got to be independent and I've got to stay, I've got to keep my distance, which is kind of this here. I've got to be really sure that this is what I want. And that's where this Knight of Pentacles is coming in a little bit. For some reason though, Scorpio, I'm picking you being connected to this Knight of Pentacles. So sometimes the Nine of Pentacles in reverse can be a fear of being single or fear of being alone. In the upright, she's super happy. She loves being on her own. She loves the independence. She's confident. But in reverse, she is afraid of those things. It overwhelms her. Being alone is scary and I have to fill up my time by spending my time with lots of other people so I don't have to face my problems. I just want to make sure that you guys are considering that in case this is something you might resonate with yourself okay so it's something to be aware of go into this with all this stuff sorted out let's go with uh advice please for scorpio, advice for scorpio. You may not have all of the facts for some reason, Scorpio. <clears throat> Again, this is this this is a bit of a repeating energy here with this uh, I want to say clinginess. They're they're slightly different in how they're clinginess. One is afraid, fear of being alone, and one is 
fear of losing something. So um, they're, they're both strong fears. It's almost like it's saying, don't cling too tightly to this. Um, I don't know why, though. I'll get, hopefully get that. Uh, Scorpio, you might not be connecting with your intuition. There's something that's not... You don't have all the information. Something's hidden from you. You may have that something hidden revealed but it's like a secret that you need to know that you should know that's being kept from you with this high priestess in reverse um this is like you don't have all the facts with this justice card in reverse so you may be clinging on to something in vain um i think you need to fish a little bit i feel like you need to understand more of what's actually happening here before you can really be sure that this person is your nine of cups i could be wrong but it's just spirit sort of saying, you know what, you, there's, you need to get some more information on this first because there's some stuff you don't actually know. I think you suspect though as well. High Priestess in reverse. This is like you're almost choosing to ignore your intuition or you know how sometimes you get that little voice and you ignore it? I get the little voice. Um that's this card you're just not listening to that little voice because it could be that you don't like what it has to say um the way to get through that meditation first thing first you got to get this lady up in the upright meditation is the best way to do that spending some time just in some peaceful solitude actually i always say hermit card is great is a great representation because that's how he got so wise uh, was by sitting in the silence and owning the silence and understanding himself better in that silence. So that's what you've got to do with this high priestess over here. So there's definitely some just be careful cards out here. It's not saying don't do it. It's just saying be smart about it if you're going to keep going. Let's do Romance Angel. Unrequited love. So that could be what is going on here. Um, it may be that this person is masquerading as I need to take it really slow. I need to just really, you know, be careful and only I want to be really sure about being in a relationship before I'm in one when really underneath they're actually... Um, not emotionally stable enough for a relationship firstly and not emotionally available so that could be where unrequited love is coming in but again i feel like <coughs> excuse me that was weird um you already have a hint of this you and if this isn't resonating with you at all, that's fine. Please don't try and make it fit. If you've got something amazing happening, don't think that this person is lying to you. Um, this is a general reading, so only take it if it resonates. Take the parts that resonate, leave the rest. Um, but I think for some of you or a lot of you, you kind of already suspect. If you're really honest with yourself, you kind of already have a bit of an idea. All right. I think it might be a difficult weekend for you this weekend. Uh, Scorpio but you know what nothing is bad forever so I think once you do some meditation kind of sit with yourself do some inner work it might make that time pass a little bit quicker okay thank you so much Scorpio have a great weekend and I will see you back here for the weekly reads talk to you soon